I never look at cars the same way that I look at credit cards and mortgages, guys. There's a reason why you don't actually need any money down when you're trying to buy a car. I wanna explain this all to you so you can wrap your head around how auto loans and leases work because there's this false idea that you actually need to put some money down when you're buying or leasing a car. What's happening guys, Ari here with Boston Automotive Consulting and as always, this video is brought to you by SaveOnMyAuto.com. SaveOnMyAuto.com is a resource you can use when you're shopping around for a brand new car so that you get the best price and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is dedicated to giving you everything you're gonna need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. So what I wanna do is break down exactly how money down on a loan or a lease works. The banks always look at an auto loan or a lease as how much they're advancing you. In some instances, in most instances, if your credit is good enough, they will advance you 120% of the car's actual value. As in, if you're gonna go in and fold in negative equity, or if you're gonna buy in an extended warranty, wheel and tire package, they will actually finance 120% of whatever the car's value is without any money down. The reason why you may choose to put money down is to just bring down the payment. In fact, dealers don't even like when you put money down because that lowers the overall interest or the finance charges that you're accruing on the loan. Same thing with leasing. If they're allowing you, if they're giving you an allowance of 120% of whatever the amount is of the car that you can lease, they don't want you putting money down because that further reduces the amount that they'll accrue in their commission based off of finance charges or however much the lease company is giving them as a kickback. Money down always brings down overall commissions. So the reason why a dealership may ask you for money down is, is because it could be that the bank is not allowing you 120%. Because you have bad credit, they wanna see somewhat like a mortgage that you're only taking out 80% of the loan. That means if you go out and you get you know, a Ram deal and they discounted the heck out of the truck but you've got bad credit but you're financing only 80% of the actual value of the car because you negotiated so well, it may be that the bank may actually not even ask you for money down because you're at 80% or close to it. However, if you're out there with bad credit and you're getting a bad deal on a Ram and the dealership is saying the bank needs to see at least $20,000 down in order to approve you, they may not be kidding. The reason why is, is because you've exceeded 80% because the bank sees that 80% is your maximum that you can take out as a loan. In the case that they need to repossess the car, at the very least, 20% of it has already been paid by you. The reason why people with great credit can go in, go to a dealership without any money, leave their whole checkbook, credit cards, everything at home, give their ID and leave with a car is, is because their credit is so good that they were given 120% of whatever the car's value is as a credit line. Auto leasing, auto loans, it works exactly like how credit lines work, except it can fluctuate based off of how good your credit is. Mortgages don't work like this. On a traditional mortgage, you're only allowed 80%. That's when you have to opt for mortgage insurance because if you default, somebody else has to pay. In the case of auto loans and leasing, it works like credit cards where if you default, they'll repossess and it just goes on your credit history. That's why mortgages are a little bit more complicated than auto loans, but make no mistake, auto loans are set up so that they only are advancing you based off of your credit score. If you don't know your credit score, there's a link in the description where you can either get your three bureau FICO scores or check your score for free. I highly encourage you, if you think you may not have a 720 plus FICO score and you're going to the dealership, I would definitely check out your score below. Make sure that you have all your scores before you go out and go to the dealership. So guys, keep in mind, great credit, usually you can finance about 120% of whatever the car's value is without any money down. If your credit is eh, all right, about 100%, and if you've got bad credit, 80% is typically what the bank is gonna allow you. And this is all depending on all three of these situations, if your income can even support the car payment. And if your income can support the car payment, but your credit score sucks, they're gonna ask you for some cash down. So guys, I hope this clarified exactly why the bank doesn't actually require money down and why they may ask you 
for money down. It all has to do with how much the loan to value is, how much money you're taking out, and how much money they'll allow you based off of your credit score. If you found this information useful and you wanna see more of these new car buying and negotiation tip type videos, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to visit saveonmyauto.com as well as all the resources down in the description below. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.